Well, I, I think actually the Home Office is selling something of a bluff here. It's not quite clear what the deal will entail in terms of returns. Um, it's also been said by the Home Office that people are going to continue to not have their asylum claims dealt with in this country if they arrive by small boats or indeed other means that the Home Office doesn't specifically permit, in which case it's not going to be possible to return anybody to Albania because we won't have determined that it would be safe for them to do so. And we ought to remember, as the statistics that came out today again confirm, that when the Home Office has determined the claims of people seeking asylum from Albania, more often than not, it has found that the person concerned is entitled to asylum here. OK, but what will it take, though? What will it take for people like you to wake up and smell the coffee that Britain is being taken for a ride? Yes, all right, OK, fair enough. There are people who have a genuine asylum claim. You, we, by definition, are a very welcoming country because of something that you've alluded to there. It's taking so long for people to have their uh, asylum claims processed. They're up in hotels. Uh, then when, if they do get it processed, we're already using not just uh, council, existing council housing stock. The Home Office is now dipping into the lower end of the private rental sector as well. We're not this frothing racist nation. But when you've even got someone who's essentially in and around the Albanian government saying... Loads of the Albanians are coming here to essentially work in your black market. What will it take for people like yourself to go, hang on a minute, we need tighter controls? Well, let's just have a think about that. It is not unusual at all for the government officials of various places from which people flee from persecution to claim that actually everything is wonderfully safe in their country. Of course, they have every reason to try and portray everything as fine and dandy where they are. So I don't take great store by that at all. I think far more can be taken from the fact that for a very long time now, consistently, Home Office decision making shows that it finds more people who claim from Albania are entitled to asylum here than not. And no, our system is not welcoming. In fact, it's become increasingly hostile. And the reason people are stacked up in the hotels that you mentioned is precisely because the decision has been taken not to process people's claims. They're just being left in limbo. That's a disaster for them. There's so many, people coming, there's so many people coming here illegally. We haven't got the resources to actually process these claims all the time, have we? We've perfectly got the resources to do this. We still receive very few people seeking asylum compared to many of us, our nearest neighbours. We are not disproportionately affected by people seeking asylum. And the reason the well, backlog okay. has spiraled out of all of control is that Priti Patel's policies for over three years have consistently, month on month, throughout that time, driven that backlog ever up. She needs to just determine claims and deal with them properly. OK, I'm just going to point something out here. We had an email in when I, when I said that you were coming on the show um, and they said, please be ready to point out to Steve that we are the most densely populated country in Europe, three times the population density of France, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So actually, when people use the argument that other areas or that other countries take more or a higher proportion than we do, we've got less space to give. And I want you to just look down the camera now and tell the nation why a young single mum with mental health problems who's lived here and paid into the tax system all her life or or someone who's fight, fought for this country and lost a limb at war, for example, should now be bumped down the social housing list so someone who we've got no idea who they are or where they're from can get a room in a hotel while their claim is processed. Why are they more important than people who are already here for you? Everybody who has rights that, to which you allude is important, and the government should be doing far more on all of those fronts. But the first point that you started with, Let's just ask the question. It's true. Some countries are far less densely populated than ours. Canada or Greenland or such like. Yes. So why should everybody go there? They're not more able of dealing with people who claim asylum. Similarly, some countries are far more densely populated than us. Lebanon or indeed Rwanda, the places that we seem to think should be responsible for so many more people than us. It's not about geographic size. It's about capacity to deal with people and provide for asylum as we are obliged like other nations to do. And frankly, we don't do as much as many, many others.